Welcome back, everyone. Ready for a deep dive today? Absolutely. I think we have a good one lined up. We do, but uh, get ready to stretch your brains a little because we're diving into, well, Zen philosophy. Always a fun challenge, but don't worry, we'll make it relatable. Exactly. So it all started with these notes you sent over about a Zen secret to a calmer life. Honestly, I'm intrigued. Yeah, and it's fascinating, isn't it? How these ancient philosophies often have so much to say about our modern lives. Totally. So the notes mention emptiness a lot, which I gotta say, sounds kind of gloomy at first glance. It does, doesn't it? Because we tend to think of emptiness as like, a void, a lack of something, but that's not really what it's about in this context. So how should we be thinking about it? Well, think about it this way. It's more about things being empty of a fixed, unchanging self. Everything, you know, including us, is always in motion, always transforming. Ah, uh, okay, the, like that cloud analogy you used in your notes. You're right. You look up, you see a cloud, seems solid for a second, but then Boom, the wind changes everything. You can't hold on to that shape. Precisely. And that's where this whole Zen idea becomes really relevant to our everyday lives because let's face it, nothing stays the same, right? Jobs change, relationships evolve, even our own feelings are in constant flux. And yet we still try to cling to things staying the same. Oh, tell me yeah. about it. I mean, it's funny how we crave stability, but then freak out when things inevitably change. I know I do. It's like you were mentioning trying to find that work-life balance. Yeah. Have you noticed how you get when things get a little off track? Oh, absolutely. I mean, we all do it to some extent. We create these ideal schedules, routines we try to stick to, but it's like trying to fit a square peg in a round hole often creates more stress than it relieves. So what's the alternative? Surrender completely. Not exactly. It's more about shifting our perspective. What if, instead of clinging to this rigid idea of balance, we tried to become more adaptable, like going with the flow, embracing the changes as they come? That's what Zen philosophy suggests, that this acceptance is where you find real peace. So it's about learning to surf those waves of change instead of constantly trying to fight against the current. Exactly. And you know, it's not just about being more productive or managing your time better. Imagine approaching your relationships with that same openness to change. That's a thought. Right. Instead of demanding things stay the same, you allow for growth, for evolution. It's not always easy, of course, but it can be incredibly freeing. So what started as a deep dive into emptiness turned into a whole new outlook on life. This is why I love these conversations. It really makes you think, doesn't it? If everything is in a constant state of flux, what's that one thing you find yourself desperately trying to keep constant in your own life? Ooh, good question. And more importantly, what would it feel like to even just a little bit loosen your grip? That's a powerful thought to leave us with. Thanks for joining us on this journey into Zen philosophy and maybe just maybe into ourselves a little bit too. Until next time.